The coronavirus outbreak has brought many challenges, not least for families struggling just to make ends meet. That's meant that more people are having to turn to charity to get the support they need to get by. Shabna Mahmood has been to a centre which is delivering food parcels, but with a difference. A special food delivery arriving at this centre in South All West London, where local communities are rallying around to help those in need. How many meals are we still waiting for? We're waiting for between 300 and 400 meals. They're on their way to the air doses. Since the start of the pandemic, every week these volunteers have been distributing food parcels to around 1,500 local residents, many of them children, many from families not used to receiving handouts. I wouldn't call it pride, but a lot of people are anxious about being the recipients of something free. You know, they've, been, they've worked all their lives, they, they, you know, they, have, they come from cultures where they believe hard work pays off and provides for you and, and your family. And now a lot of them are having to face up to a reality where they have no jobs. They're replacing shopping bags with specially designed boxes filled not just with food, but educational items too. We wanted them to have a new experience, something to look forward to, something which they would say, oh, on Thursday we're going to be getting the YouTube box. And rather than giving them a handout, we're giving them a hand up. The boxes are a more welcome gift for teenagers. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, very nice. And younger children. Harjeet Kaur and her husband both lost their jobs during lockdown. They have no access to benefits and are dependent on donations. Me and my husband, we never used to be like that. And all of a sudden, of the coronavirus, because we both not working, no money, struggling with the funds, not receiving any funds. So it is embarrassing when you're standing on the road and just waiting for the food. The UQ box might help, but Harjeet's pain and shame from having to use food banks is all too clear. <laughs> We can't even afford food for the kids. While the pandemic fuels hunger, the volunteers say they'll continue delivering supplies in boxes to reduce the stigma for those forced to rely on charity. Shabnam Mahmood, BBC News.